Ruben Amorim fires warning to Marcus Rashford and hints at position change. As Wonder Kid God will Kukonki spotted in Man United training, he's got something that sets him apart. Manchester United boss Ruben Amorim refused to rule out further tweaks to his team and it could impact Marcus Rashford. Rashford started as the lone striker for the Red Devil. The 27-year-old's goal was his fifth of the season across all competitions and ended a run of seven consecutive Premier League fixtures without scoring. Amorim's choice to place Rashford up top deviated from how his predecessor Eric Ten Hag used him, which was on the left wing in a front three. Although Rashford scored during a rare berth up front in Amorim's favored 3-4-2-1 formation, the Portuguese boss revealed it isn't the long-term plan. Amorim has also determined to get Rashford back to the blistering form he enjoyed during the 2022 over 23 campaign when he netted 17 times in 35 league appearances but insisted it will only happen if the English star heeds a two-word demand. I will try to help him, Amorim said. That position is not the best one for him, especially in a game like that. We have to kick with high pressure. We have to kick the ball so many times and it was like fighting with two giants. We'll try to find the right solution for him, as for the other players. But he has to be Marcus, first of all, to try to return to that moment, and then he will have all the help of the staff, the club and the fans because he's a Manchester United boy. But he has to be the first one to want it. Amram also hinted Rashford is likely to be dropped from the starting lineup for United's Europa League clash against Norwegian side Bodo, Glint on Thursday. However, Rashford's axing would not be performance related as Amram seeks to speed up the acclimatization process for all of his stars. We have to do it, especially in this moment because we have a lot of games and we are in the beginning of something, Amorim said. They have to feel that they are part of the team, so they are international players. They will rotate. We will try to manage to try and win every game and not just focus on this game, have a clear idea of how to play and everybody has to be on the same page. Danish striker Rasmus Hodgland looms as the next option to start up top for the Red Devils, as he was the man who replaced Rashford in the 68th minute against Ipswich. Hodgland, who joined in July last year for an initial £64 million from Atalanta, had a disrupted start to the season as he worked his way back from a hamstring injury. The 21-year-old has since scored just twice in 13 appearances for United across all competitions this term, and will be desperate to impress if chosen to lead the line against Bodo. Polarizing summer recruit Joshua Xerxy is another who could fill the central striker role in Amorim's formation. After netting the winner in his Red Devils debut against Fulham, Xerxy has failed to score in the following 17 games for United. It leaves Amorim with a serious conundrum as he looks to ignite his misfiring striking unit. United's clash against Bodo at Old Trafford kicks off at 7 p.m. as Amorim side look to make it six games unbeaten across the board. In other news, Wonderkid God will Kukonki spotted in Man United training. He's got something that sets him apart. Ruben Amorim is quite clearly a fan of Manchester United Wonderkid God will Kukonki, as the teenager is becoming a regular in first-team training. Of all the talented young players currently at Carrington, it is the 16-year-old central defender who has caught Ruben Amorim's eye. God will Kukonki only signed his scholarship deal over the summer and made his U21 debut for Manchester Manchester United last month. Kukonki was in first-team training from Amorim's first session last week, and he made the matchday squad on Sunday against Ipswich. Now, it looks as though he is set to feature in the group to head to Old Trafford on Thursday. God will Kukonki in Manchester United training. Wednesday saw the Manchester United squad be put through their paces by Amorim and his coaching staff at Carrington. Much to the delight of fans, the group included Kukonki, as the teenager was pictured looking right at home along with the first-team squad. Kukonki's chances of being involved at least in the squad were boosted as Amorim confirmed both Harry Maguire and Lenny Euro would miss out along with Victor Lindelof and Johnny Evans seemingly missing training. Formerly only an under-18 regular, Kukonki is the only youngster who Amorim has had in first-team training with even Harry Amass sent back to the U21s and U18s. There is a fairly logical reason for this. Kukonki has one advantage over his United peers. While still so young, Kukonki is viewed as a possible history maker for United, as he has over a year to make his debut and become the youngest defender to play for the club. Not many 16-year-old centre-backs are brought into first-team training, never mind included in match day squads, and therefore there must be something very special about Kukonki. While he is a superb footballer and defender, it is likely his physicality which has stood out to Amorim so quickly, with physical readiness a big factor in when academy players get to make the step up. 
We saw this as Eric Ten Hag had doubts over a mass physicality. However, at a reported height of 6 feet 5 in, Kukonki is more than ready and certainly stands out among his peers. This is one reason Chido Obai Martin is tipped to step up quickly. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.